Hey there, we are going to make a robot today. Um, here's an example of a robot person you could make. Here's another example of a robot person you could make. Here's another example of a robot person you could make. There's no right or wrong. The robot people are made of lots and lots of shapes. So I think this one is my favorite of those three. So that's the one I'm going to show you. So you're going to take your paper and in the middle you're going to make two medium sized circles. Then you want the head to be here. So you're going to put a little neck and you're going to put a square shaped head. Oops. I feel like I made this head just a little bit too long. All right. Then you're going to put another two lines here, two lines here, and I'm going to make two little balls. There we go. Then I'm going to make um, a couple of eyes, which are squares, two little squares, little dots in my eyes, little square nose, and then um, I'm going to make a line for the mouth line going down this way and that way. Connect those two lines. Then I'm going to make three circles for the an arm on this side. One, two, three circles for an arm on this side. Then I think I'm going to make sort of a circle. Sort of a circle, kind of a U shape. And then I'm going to put a less than or greater than sign there, less than or greater sign there. Now I want to give them some legs. So I'm going to make three circles on this side. I'm going to make three circles on this side. And then I'm going to make just a hill on both sides and then connect the hill on the bottom. All right, now I have my robot person ready to go over it with my dark colored crayon or marker just so it kind of pops out. There's no right or wrong. Create whatever robot person you're in the mood to create. Alrighty, then I'm going to go ahead and take my eraser and I'm going to erase all of those unwanted lines. Everybody say goodbye lines. So when all my lines have gone, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, add some color. So I'm going to finish up with the erasing and the coloring with a little abracadabra poof. And there we go, boys and girls. So you can add whatever kind of designs or shapes that you want to your robot person. Um, here's another example of one you could make. 
Maybe uh, you want to make a robot that looks like that. Or maybe you want to make a robot that looks like that. It's totally up to you, boys and girls. Have fun with your robot. Thank you for listening.